we afraid of these two? Oh. In the movies, drug gangs fill the screen with bloodshed and bullets. To the average audience, sometimes beyond belief. But as any real-life cop on the street knows, it's all quite believable. Road Sheriff's Office! There's a warrant! One group whose violence is all too real is the Jamaican gang or posse. Estimates show more than 13,000 members belong to about 40 separate posses nationwide. And like the drugs they distribute, the numbers are growing. A piece of crack covered from his uh, left pocket, one from his right pocket, and one from his drop. But more frightening than their numbers is the violence they bring with them. In the past four years, the FBI has blamed the posses for more than 1,400 deaths. And when Jamaican posses move into a new city, the first officers who usually notice are not in narcotics, but rather in homicide. They have complete disregard for innocent bystanders. If they wanted to kill you or me, they would just come in a room, spray the whole room, kill, kill all the non-people uh, they were concerned with. Also, the Jamaicans associate their manhood, their machismo with weapons. The bigger the gun, the, be the better the man. John Featherly works on cocaine investigations for the DEA. In his studies, he has found members will try to assimilate, but says there are characteristics that could help officers distinguish someone of Jamaican descent. These documents show that members will try to pass off as local residents, using common English names, but often misspelling places of birth. They will usually write one half with height or weight, and will use dots rather than slashes when writing the date. One way, Featherly says, will help an officer is to carry on a casual conversation, even about something as innocent as local sports. Several instances 